China wants to build a knockoff Hyperloop. China plans to develop next-generation vehicles similar to Elon Musk's Hyperloop. Chinese automaker Geely has signed a deal with the state-owned Chinese Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation to build a network of ultra-fast trains. The proposed system will use magnetic levitation to allow the trains to float inches above the rail tracks. This eliminates ground friction and increases speed. Like the Hyperloop, the trains will be propelled through vacuum tubes to reduce air resistance. Though not technically supersonic, the trains will travel faster than conventional ones. This will initially be at speeds of up to 1,000 km per hour, with a aim to reach 4,000 km per hour in the future. The agreement between Geely and the corporation was signed at an aerospace industry event in Zhuhai. However, no details were given on when the project will be ready or its cost. The Rat Race of the Future China's New Smart Trains a city in China has launched a test run for a futuristic urban transport system that's being called the world's first smart train. Described as a cross between a train, tram, and bus, the autonomous rail rapid transit is a 32-meter electric vehicle that runs at a maximum speed of 70 kilometers per hour. The ART is equipped with sensors to help it read road dimensions as it travels along a virtual track made up of dotted white lines painted on the road. The smart train has three carriages and is capable of carrying up to 300 passengers. The self-driving system uses rubber tires instead of steel wheels and can travel up to 25 kilometers after a 10-minute charge. At the moment, the train traverses a 3.1-kilometer route, traveling through four stations in the city of Zhuzhou in the country's Hunan province. A longer route is being planned, with the transport system aiming to eventually expand to other cities. A full-scale Hyperloop pod model was unveiled on Thursday, giving a glimpse into the future of Dubai transport. Virgin Hyperloop One and Dubai's Road Transport Authority developed a prototype commuter pod for the Hyperloop system, which can travel up to 1,200 kilometers per hour. Pods are divided into two classes, gold, which can seat five passengers, and silver, which seats 14. Travel time from Dubai to Abu Dhabi is currently an hour and a half by car, but will take only 12 minutes via Hyperloop. Initial tests estimate the pod can transport 10,000 people to and from Dubai every hour. To avoid motion sickness from the high speeds, the pods have no windows, but do offer entertainment and information systems in the armrests. Though the project is still under testing, the high-speed transportation system could launch as early as 2020. This six-rotor personal drone would be an awesome way to get around. Ever since the Jetsons, who hasn't dreamed of owning a flying car? That day, an electrical vertical takeoff and landing vehicle can replace the gas guzzler in the driveway. But what if you just want a zipper on the neighborhood? Well, then the Solexa is the whip for you. The Solexa is designed for shorter flights of about 20 minutes. Imagine skipping over traffic on your way to work. Or you and a friend can explore the countryside in a Solexa, which is way cooler than taking an ATV. Its designers also think the police might find the Solexa useful. Cops riding a Solexa could quickly respond to a crime scene and then report back to a command center. Navigation would be automated. Punch in coffee shop and the Solexa is programmed to take you there. The Solexa has a 200 pound payload, a 30 meter height ceiling, and a maximum flying time of about 20 minutes. At this point, the concept is just a concept, much like flying cars that fold into a briefcase. Supersonic passenger flights will soon be a reality. A new airliner that boasts supersonic speeds is set to revolutionize air travel once it takes flight in 2023. Boom Technologies' planned supersonic aircraft will have a cruise speed of 1,451 miles per hour, 2.6 times faster than any other airliner. While a flight from New York to London would typically take seven hours on a commercial flight, the trip would take a little over three hours on a supersonic airliner. 
The Mach 2.2 aircraft will have 55 seats, each priced at about 5,000 US dollars for a round trip ticket. A one third scale prototype called the XB 1 will begin test flights in 2018 to demonstrate and refine the key technologies required for supersonic travel. Unlike the now retired Concorde and its notoriously loud sonic boom, the boom aircraft will have turbofans for noise reduction and won't be much louder than a normal plane. The company does have some hurdles to face before their project comes to fruition. Supersonic flights are still banned in the U.S., but with federal laws currently set up for renegotiation, that could soon change. Well, this is unique. Ever thought of air travel in terms of reusable shipping containers? If what a bunch of researchers are doing in Switzerland is anything to go by, that concept might just fly. Developed at the Federal Polytechnic Institute, the pod plane's concept could one day allow passengers to board at rail stations. These pods each measure 30 meters in length. After being ferried to the airport, the pod would join others under a giant 60-meter wing. This modular concept aircraft is one of several developed by Swiss researchers called Clip Air. According to CNN, its speed and range would be around the same as most mid-sized commercial aircraft. China to debut self-driving buses the future of buses is here. Xinhua reports China's Baidu has announced they have begun production of driverless buses. Baidu released video footage of the bus called Apolong, which shows it to be much smaller than a regular-sized bus. The South China Morning Post reports the buses will first be put to use in cities such as Beijing, Shenzhen, and even Tokyo. According to Xinhua, the bus will initially be used in tourist spots, airports, and other enclosed areas. Local reports say Apolong is capable of level 4 operations, which means it is able to drive without any drivers in specific areas and has 14 seats inside it with no steering wheel. Baidu says they will be working with a subsidiary of Intel to incorporate the responsible, sensitive safety driving model to its buses, which would mimic human judgment while it's driving.